Hey everybody, Ranger here, and welcome back to another video. So, this is a bit of a test video of sorts because I'm testing out my brand new microphone. Um, but I also wanted to make a video and explain kind of what has happened the past few weeks. So, I'm using a brand new microphone <clears throat> that I bought for my channel. <clears throat> I know it's been forever. I know I've never had a microphone before, but I'm really actually excited, and I really hope this is, that this thing works good. It is a uh, HyperX SoloCast microphone, and it's a cool little microphone, I have to say. Um, so it has supposedly a built-in pop filter, so hopefully no more audio spikes. But I'm really hoping that this thing works. I don't know how well it picks up. Um, but it may have a bit lower audio than my default webcam, than my Logitech C920. So, uh, I'll have to see how this does. Uh, so, I want you guys to give me feedback and let me know how this sounds, if it sounds good. Because this is a microphone that I'm hoping, if it works great, that I can start using with all of my videos. All of my reactions and my gaming videos as well. So, this is one that I really want to try. So, <clears throat> as you know, it's been a little bit of time, it's been almost a month since my last video. The reason for that is because this month has not been kind to me. <laughs> it really hasn't. Um, it started right at the very, within the very first week of this month. Um, <clears throat> I requested off for a day so that a pen pal and I could take the time to be able to chat because it had been like three months since we had been able to so I ended up requesting off for that uh, just for that day because I thought it was a day that they were going to be off as well and as it turns out the night before that day that I requested off for I messaged them to confirm if we were still on for that for hanging out and I if we were still on for chatting and I got a message telling me that something had come up with work for them and they wouldn't be able to do it so I really got bummed out over that I honestly I, I, I got angry um, I got angry I felt upset um, because uh, nothing because I had not been informed about that beforehand and I took and I requested off for that day and so you know I, I did get upset I got I, I felt hurt I felt kind of betrayed um, you know and uh, so that right there is kind of what started it but right after that just a couple of days after that I got a cut in the back of my mouth in the left side of my mouth right behind my back tooth I was eating a Totino's pizza I've ate those for, for years but for some reason this one decided that it was going to have a razor blade or a knife in it or something and it cut the back of my mouth right behind my tooth the cut that it left was almost like an inch long and it hurt and that was back at like that like the, the start of the of this month my mouth is still not 100% better yet um, and so it hurt to eat I could not have food on that side of my mouth for the for the first couple of days all I could eat was soup I had to have something that would go down extremely easy that did not hardly require any chewing and I could not talk either because talking hurt. It hurt to talk, it hurt to eat. And so after I think about the third day, I was able to start chewing a bit, but then I still had to put it on the on the right side of my mouth and not let anything happen, not let anything hit on the left side. And so <clears throat> it <clears throat> has been almost a month and my mouth is I can I can now 
let food hit the left side of my mouth, but it's still, I still feel tension. I still feel pain and like a needle sometimes sticking in that side of my mouth. And so it's really, really annoying and really bothersome at times. But for like a week, I didn't feel like talking or anything because of my mouth. And that's why I may sound a bit funny now because of that feeling in the left side of my mouth. Then, uh, a couple of weeks ago, I ended up getting sick. I got COVID. <laughs> I'm not joking. I'm not joking. Um, now, with all the precautions and everything that I had been taking, uh, this one was one of those unorthodox, stupid things that just happened. I ended up getting it from church. Now here's the thing. There are three churches that I go to. One is my home church. The second is not my home church. It's the church that I run the media shop program at. The third church is another church that I started going to uh, because my home church, they only have service every second and fifth Sunday of every month every second Sunday and if the sun if that month has a fifth Sunday then they have it on that Sunday too but <clears throat> at the church where I run the run the media shop program <clears throat> <clears throat> pardon me excuse me um, I don't get anything out of what the pastor preaches he's not a pastor he's a talker so I started going to this other church to this third church on my days off whenever I didn't have to go home and go on to bed because I had to work that night. So, I go to the third church whenever I can and whenever they're not having service at my home church. Okay, now here's the thing. I have not been going to the third church very long. Maybe uh, four weeks, maybe five if that. And so... I show up at the, this church the first time, and my mother also goes to this church. I walk in wearing my mask, and she told me that I didn't have to wear a mask at this church because, because nobody had anything. Everybody was fine. Well, that's the way it was at first, until two Sundays ago. Then this woman walks in. Now this woman is the daughter of one of the other older women that goes to this church that my mom that is friends with. Now this woman is a drama queen. She's the kind of person that whenever she walks into a room, she wants you to look at me, everyone. I have graced you with my presence. Adore me. She's that kind of person. Now, she had come in, she lives in a different state, she had come in for a visit, and instead of joining the church service, no, she waits until after the service is over and everybody has just stood up. Then, she walks in and hugs me and my mother. Guess what? She gave us both COVID. That drama queen decide, ended up giving us both COVID. Instead of, if she had no intentions of walking in while the service was going on, she could have just, and should have just stayed out in the vehicle, in the parking lot. But no, she had to walk inside and grace everybody with her presence. And because of that, she graced us with COVID. Now, I didn't get tested, but my mother did. My mother was told that she had the lighter variant of COVID, the very light variant, which is a good thing. And that's also the version that I ended up getting. Now, as it turns out, there was no cases here in this, in this area until all at once, boom, a bomb went off and suddenly everybody was getting it. I don't know where the freak it came from, but I can tell you where I got it from. That drama queen at the church. So, that was on Sunday. 
Monday I had it, I didn't know it. Tuesday, that's when I felt the effects of it. And for the past couple of weeks, I have, I'm just now actually back to normal per se. The first couple of days, I had a headache unlike anything that I've ever had before in my life. After that, then I had to try to get my energy back because I had no energy. I never lost my taste or my smell, but I did lose my appetite. And you know what? I still don't have it back yet. I still cannot feel natural hunger now. I cannot feel natural hunger. I have not since I had since I ended up with COVID, I have not felt natural hunger but one time the rest of the time I I don't know if I'll ever know what hunger is again anymore I mean it's like a dieter's dream you don't feel hunger so you don't have to eat so I don't feel hunger I just eat because I know I need to and I still have and if I sound funny that's why because I still have the congestion up in my head it's been two weeks now since I ended up with COVID. But I still have the congestion up in my head. I'm taking Mucinex to try to get rid of that drainage. It's still in my throat and it's still in my nose. So if I sound different, that's why. That is the lingering effects of that. The congestion up in my head, it still feels like I have a bucket of water up here. And my throat, my voice is not normal, it's not the way it should be. I can feel the echo in my nose, in my nasal cavity. And my throat, the left side where that cut is, was actually starting to make a bit of progress and stop being sore until I got COVID. Then now it's sore again. Thank you for that. And so now that's why I have to keep clearing my throat because of that drainage. And so I have to keep taking the Mucinex to get rid of it so it doesn't hang around a lot longer and it doesn't drain and cause bronchitis. So my mom and I are over COVID. We've already been out of the quarantine thing. But like I said, see, we took our precautions. The problem was that this woman decides to come in for a visit. And I'll be honest with you folks. I honestly thought better about wearing my mask. I honestly thought, you know what, maybe I should not listen to my mom and wear my mask anyway. Folks, I'm here to tell you right now that there are times where your parents do not know what's best for you. If your gut instinct tells you to do something different that your parent tells you to do, you should probably listen to your gut. I figured that out the hard way. So we ended up with COVID and so did my dad. I have been fighting so hard to try to keep my dad from getting COVID. Thankfully, the version that my dad got of COVID was the very lighter version of the light version that my mom and I had. So, he kept his appetite, which that's a good thing. Now he's over it, and his body is a bit more immune now to the other variants. Same thing with my mom and I. But let me tell you, even though we had the lighter version, I wouldn't wish that on anybody. And so that's why, that's what has happened. I got a cut on the inside of my mouth, which is still there and is still trying to heal. And I'm still getting rid of the waterlogged noggin up here that I have from getting COVID. Like I said, thankfully it was a lighter version, but let me tell you right now, it was still not fun. On top of that, to add insult to injury, day before yesterday, I was trying to blow my nose and I popped my right ear and it hasn't recovered it hasn't gotten better now most of what I say is on this side of my head everything here is like an echo or like a like a wall of water on this side of my head most of what I say is comes in on the left side of my head so I found myself uh, last night at work having to keep my head turned this way so I could hear what someone was saying. So now, I have a volume control. If someone is talking to me and I don't want to hear them, all I have to do is turn to this side because nothing is going through on this one. 
And so that's, I have a feeling too, it's the congestion that's still up in my head that is causing my ear to not regulate itself. So yeah, that's what has been going on for the past almost a month right now. Pretty much a month. So that's why I have been sick of my ma- with my mouth. My mouth has been sore, couldn't talk, couldn't eat, just slightly. And na- then getting over having the lighter variant of COVID. So again, not fun. I'm thankful that we didn't have the worst version, but let me tell you... The first couple of days, I was taking Tylenol like they were fruit gummies. The headache would not go away. It wouldn't stop. On top of that, my head was hurting. My mouth was... My throat was sore because I was having to cough and clear my throat so much. I got maybe... It felt like I got two hours of sleep in the span of almost 48 hours. Because my head was hurting so badly, I would wait go to sleep, wake up, go to sleep, wake up. I might would sleep for maybe 15, 20 minutes, and then I'd wake up, take 30 minutes to go back to sleep, and that's just how it was for me. And I don't know how long I would lay there tossing and turning, trying to find a good position. I was also running a temperature. The first night that I had COVID, I froze. Let me tell you, I would rather freeze than burn up. Because whenever you're freezing, it's easy to get under the blankets, and you're good. However, after that, I just burned up. I could not get cool. I would toss, turn, try to sleep, try to get some sleep. I had no energy. I had absolutely no energy. All I wanted to do is was stay in bed. One of those nights that I was supposed to work, I couldn't. I had to call in. And after call, calling in, went right back to bed and stayed there. I got up, I think about 3.30 that morning ate like a bowl of chicken doodle soup, a small can, and then went right back to bed. I had no energy. I could not do anything. I didn't feel like doing anything. It took a few days after that, once my headaches was finally gone. That was on Tuesday. That was on um, Wednesday. Uh, By Friday... I started trying to move about and get my body back used to moving again. Not completely easy, but I went to work Friday night, still didn't feel good. And so, yeah, it's been, definitely been a process. Like I said, I would not wish this, I would not wish that on anybody. Glad I'm over it, so I guess now my body is a bit more immune to it now. But still not something that I want because this is not like anything that I've ever dealt with before. Normally you get you get a cold or something and within a week or so, you know, you're you're better and you can get rid of the congestion very very quickly and return to normal. It's been like 2 weeks and I'm still dealing with this. This is unlike anything I've dealt with before and like I said, I don't want to ever deal with it again. So that's why that my videos have been kind of lackluster, suffering from depression and anxiety uh, right at the start of the month, and then that transition to so pain in my mouth, which is still here. I can still feel that tension right here as I'm talking right now. I can still feel it. And then there's the congestion in my head, the waterlogged feeling. I can literally do this, and I can feel the water. If I could unscrew my head, I'd, there'd probably be like a half a gallon of water in there. But, um, yeah, so I wanted to make a video and kind of explain that. So I'm better of COVID. I'm fully better of that. I'm no longer contagious or anything. But I can say, not going to listen to my mom or anyone else whenever they tell me next time, oh, you don't need a mask. Screw you. I'm wearing one. I'm also going to make sure uh, that uh, the next time that someone just suddenly visits, from out of state who wants to hug me yeah like gonna be very far back from them okay you know what like okay good to see you too but you know what um just um let's try to keep our distance a little bit here okay i already had one experience i don't want to have it again all right you can have explosive diarrhea that's fine wish you well i don't want it (laughs) okay (laughs) i don't want it (laughs) <laughs> but um, anyway 
I wanted to kind of make that make this video and let you guys know about that and I thought it would be a good opportunity to test my microphone and see how it works because I'm really hoping that this microphone works and because I really want to utilize it with other videos as well so I'm hoping my reactions I can use it with this as well as gaming videos in the future as well so I'm really hoping that I can utilize this it's a cool little mic it's a nifty little mic so I really hope that the sound is good let me guys know what let me let me g know what you guys sorry waterlogged remember my brain is floating around in there um, let me know what you guys think about this mic um, if it works what it sounds like because it sounds for me okay on I did one video to test it one gaming video but I haven't done a regular video like this before so let me know what you guys think from your end how it sounds I really hope it does good I hope I didn't waste my money on it um, hopefully it's more smooth and more balanced than using the default microphone that is built into the Logitech webcam I'm still going to use the Logitech webcam because it works um, I'm still going to use it but hopefully now I'll have better quality better clarity with speaking and hopefully this will sound a lot better hopefully no more popping cracking or exploding I hope anyway but again let me know what you guys think about this new mic and again I hope you guys are doing well because this month for me has not been <laughs> this month for me has been like boom that's basically been this month for him for me I mean I'm waiting to just like be walking along and feeling my nuts just drop and they'll be like taffy on either side you know swinging down my paint my shorts you know they'll be like taffy uh, like laffy taffy I'm, I'm waiting on that to happen um, but again let me know what you guys think about this microphone hopefully it works good and uh, hopefully I can start doing videos with this one as well and see how it works and again um, hope you guys understand about what's also been going on and um, hopefully put some clarity on that as well that is also why that I haven't really been interactive with anybody and talking as well is because of my mouth you know not being able to talk difficulty talking and not feeling like it because of that and then also because of being sick and having to deal with that as well and right now my mouth is still sore so as soon as I finish this video this will be like the last video that I do this morning because of this so I still have to be careful with this because it's still sore and so I have to kind of limit how much that I do so that's why I kind of figure out like I have to kind of let it rest up a bit so it gets over some soreness before I plan on doing a video I don't know how long it will take this to get better all I know is I've sworn off those supreme Totino's pizzas because I think it was one of those tiny seeds that cut the back of my mouth which I've ate those for years I don't know why it suddenly did that I have no idea but uh, that's just how things go for me I could literally be walking down the street and I guarantee you a meteorite would just right on top of me I guarantee you I'd be the only person in the world I would go in the Guinness get you know the Genesis book of, War, of world records only person to get smacked by a meteorite or I could f trip and fall with my butt stuck up in the air and that would be the one moment a meteorite would come out of nowhere and whoop right up the butthole and I would be the only person in Guinness's Book of World Records that would it would say the only person in the world to get penetrated anally by a meteorite. And that would be me. And what a picture that it would show in there. That's like <laughs> the picture that it would show. Uh, <laughs> um, but again, uh, enough with the craziness. Now you're still going to get that. Um, but again, let me know what you guys think with this microphone. Hopefully it works. Uh, I really hope it does well. Um, it's a cute little mic. I like it. I hope it works. But um, I really want to try it and see what it does and see how crystal clear it is. So hopefully it works. But uh, thanks again for joining me. And uh, hopefully I will see you guys in the next video that I do. Take care. And again, let me know what you guys think about this. So thanks again for joining me. And hopefully I will see you guys next time.